Online Vapor Pressure Workshop. The system, the MiniVap Online Vapor Pressure Process Analyzer, does not require sample cooling and air saturation. Maximum pressure is 1,000 kPa for gasoline and crude oil measurements and 2,000 kPa for LPG measurements. A fully equipped ATEX certified MiniVap online consists of a purge controller and a safety relay switch in case analog data is transferred, the nitrogen purged measuring cabinet with external controls, a sample conditioning system at the bottom of the analyzer, and the container for the calibration substance. Measuring cabinet. The measuring cabinet contains the controller, the measuring cell with an integrated shaker, the automatic oiler, the communication port with an RS-232 interface for Modbus data transfer, other available communication options are a 4 to 20 milliampere converter for analog data transfer or the remote controller for monitoring the analyzer from a non-hazardous area. The measuring cabinet contains two valves for different sample streams and one for the calibration fluid. To the top of the cabinet, external water cooling can be attached for additional cooling of the system. Sample Conditioning System The SCS, the Sample Conditioning System, is located at the bottom of the measuring cabinet and can handle pressures up to 7,000 kPa. A gasoline and LPG SCS is usually mounted without a cabinet. A crude oil SCS is contained within a stainless steel cabinet. Two streams for gasoline, LPG or crude oil can be connected. The third valve is for the calibration liquid. A crude oil cabinet is also equipped with a heater to prevent building of waxes and blockage. During the test, the sample passes through a fast sample loop, which contains a self-cleaning bypass filter of small volume. Before entering the measuring cell, a pressure controller regulates the sample pressure. The minimum inlet pressure required is 110 kPa. The pressure relief valve prevents overpressure. The flow can be monitored by the flow indicator. After measuring, the sample leaves the conditioning system at atmospheric pressure. A pressurized cleaning fluid can be attached to the fast sample loop. Close the stream valve, attach the tubing of the cleaning fluid and open the cleaning valve. Programming. Six measuring channels and one calibration channel can be programmed. Each channel can be programmed individually so that different methods can be programmed to run on the same sample stream. To program the measuring channels, put the cursor on CHAN and press TASK. Go to Parameters and press TASK. Place the cursor to Channel 1 and select a measuring channel. Enter the channel identification. Use the plus minus keys to scroll through the characters or use shift and plus minus keys for fast scrolling. Select measuring and injection temperature, the minimum injection pressure and the maximum gas correction. Select a method for gasoline crude oil or LPG. Then choose the standard and apply the correct formula. For standard gasoline measurements, ASTM is the approved DVPE formula for D5191 measurements. EPA is the EPA approved correlation to ASTM D4953B. CARB is the D323 gasoline correlation formula used by the Californian Air Resource Board. Next, select the valve you want to use for this channel. Select I-Val to define the measuring interval. For a standard gasoline measurement, a 7-minute interval is required. 
for a V over L test a 10 minute interval. After you've programmed the measuring channels, move to channel C, used for calibration and validation. Enter the name of the calibration standard and the nominal pressure of the calibration liquid. Delta P is the maximum deviation allowed. If this deviation is exceeded, an error is triggered and the unit needs to be recalibrated. AutoCal should be on for automatic calibration correction. If the channel is used for validation, turn AutoCal off. Adapt the calibration or validation interval. Click on End to get back to the main channel menu. Now your unit is configured. Measuring. When all parameters are set, close the cabinet, then activate the purge control. Then press Run. The cabinet is purged and the measuring cycle starts using the pre-programmed methods and measuring intervals. Press Stop to stop the measurement or Cal to start a manual calibration run. After the measurement, the result is displayed and results data is transferred. Setup menu. The Setup menu allows the user to manage methods and settings like correlation formulas, temperature, and pressure units. Go to Common to change the number of rinsing cycles and the rinsing volume, or the V over L ratio for crude oil and LPG measurements. Go to Timing to change equilibrium times and pressure limits for measuring methods. To change the settings for TVP measurement, go to TVP PAR and press Task. Here, equilibrium times and measuring points for TVP measurement can be adjusted. The TVP measurement will test three different V over L and extrapolate to a V over L ratio of zero. This method has been verified on a huge sample set of crude oils. Simple maintenance steps. Check the oil lubrication reservoir every 10,000 runs. The bottom chamber of the reservoir should be filled with oil. If it is not completely filled, fill 0.5 to 1 milliliter of oil into the reservoir. You may exchange cells between different analyzers. No calibration is required on a new cell. To change the cell, press stop and wait a few seconds until the analyzer reaches its starting position. Then, activate bypass mode on the purge control. Press the on-off button on the mounting plate to switch off the analyzer. Close the valves on the SCS. Disconnect five plugs from the mounting plate and controller. Take down the oiler and the cell. Attach the new cell. Refill oil if required. Press the on-off button on the mounting plate, then activate the purge control. Then press run to start the measuring cycle. For calibration, the measuring cell is easily attached to a service unit. If the filter is clogged in the fast sample loop, you can easily change it. Close the valves on the fast sample loop. Put the tubing below the fast sample loop into a waste bottle to collect the waste. Open the filter housing by loosening the six Allen screws. Remove the filter housing cover. Check clogging of the filter and damage of the O-ring. Change filters and O-ring if required. Put back the cover and fix it. Remove the pouring sample via the tube. Open the valve again. Further information. Please study the manual delivered with the instrument carefully. If you have any additional questions, 
our local representatives or the Grabner Support Department will be happy to help you. Small instruments, great results. Grabna Instruments.